Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be showing you this manual log and kindling splitter. The model number for this product is PC02. This is actually something my sister-in-law recently purchased from Amazon and lent it to me to make this video. If I like this product, I might even buy one for myself. So if you're interested in learning more about this log splitter, stay with me. I'll tell you all about its key features and give it a trial run. This log splitter is made under the Snugnature brand and it comes in a sturdy box and protective wrap. There's a brief printout basically saying to keep away from children, wear gloves and take appropriate safety measures. I'll be wearing gloves, eyewear, earplugs, long pants and work boots. This product is available in both a seven inch and a nine inch size. The one I'm showing you is the nine inch model and that measurement is the inside diameter of the top ring. The outside measurement is about 10 inches. The overall height is 16 inches and the blade area is about six inches and is not sharp to the touch like a knife would be. The base measures 11 inches in length and I don't see any holes where you could mount it to like a pallet or any type of base. That's something I would have liked to have seen. The body is made of cast steel, making it durable and it's pretty substantial weighing in at 17 pounds. It's pretty easy and straightforward to use. Just place the log on top of the blade, steady it with your hand and strike the top with a hammer, mallet, piece of wood, or even a rock if need be. I started off trying it out above waist level and because I injured my wrist a couple years ago, also tried it down on the ground to see which was easier. I believe this is maple that I'm cutting. So for me, the best method was to hit it with a couple blows to stabilize it on the blade, then use both hands to strike it with the mallet and finish it off. This isn't something that's going to take the place of a log splitter if you heat your house with wood during the winter, but it's certainly helpful for slicing wood for a backyard fire, pizza oven, fireplace, or to take camping. Overall, it's helpful, well-made, and easy to use, although it does take some effort. So I hope this video was helpful. If there's anything I didn't cover, leave the questions for me in the comments. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also find me, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook as well. As always, I thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.